Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. We are looking today at making this cool game board and you can see that basically I've used the puffy star, both the positive and the negative shape. The board itself is created with the negative, the area around the star, and if you look inside each of these openings, these star openings, there are answers. The questions are actually posed on the star cutouts themselves. So if you look at the table, you can see all of the stars have the equations on them. So if I pick this one up, I would need to figure out 5 times 2 is 10, squared is 100, divided by 10 is 10. So then I look on the game board to see where that matching answer is in order to position this particular star. Then if I move down here, um, you can also go the other way. If I look at the answer first and I see that the answer is 4, then I could look at the different stars on the table and try to figure out which one is going to result in 4, which happens to be right here. 2 thirds equals how many sixths? So this is a fun game. The beauty of making it yourself is you get to decide how complex or how simple you want the math equations to be. It can be fractions, it can be decimals, it can be learning um, the power, you know, squared and cubed, all those things. You need to start by cutting. And we're going to cut. You have two options, and I'll bring them over so you can see. There is the puffy star in the sure cut, and there's also the puffy star in the all star. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the all star, and in order to do this particular die, since I'm cutting in the Big Shot Pro, I'm going to use the cutting pad that comes with the machine, and it has pictorially it tells me that as well as this adapter, I need to also use the crease pad. Then I'm going to take the star die itself, and before I actually place the card stock on there, I want you to notice I have pieces of tape. What I've done is I've decided I want the star to cut out right in the middle. So I've done a couple of test cuts, and I figured that when my paper is positioned so that it's tucked right against these two pieces of tape, this then will generate a star that is cutting right out of the center. And this way, I know that every single one, I'll have a nice center cut star. So once I've lined it up with my tape, then I'm going to place it in the machine, and I'll put the cutting pad over the top. I'm cutting really thick, I would call it poster board, which is why I'm not cutting five at once. I'm just cutting one. And then I'll bring it back over and show you that it results in a really cool star, which, because it's cut with the same tool, this star is going to match every single one of these perfectly because the same tool that cut the negative space, which is this, also cut the positive space. You're going to use all the parts and pieces to make this. You know, even if you have students who aren't fluent in English, doing a hands-on approach like this is perfect. If you have students that are more advanced, it's perfect because you can change it up by just creating, even if you use the same answers, all you need to do is create much more advanced equations for those advanced learners. You know, math practice, it's two times the fun with a matchup game like this. You could even say it was stellar. <laughs> 